Hey guys, welcome back to another review Starlight video. For today, I'll be discussing something that confused me for quite a period of time, which is about 90% of my entire review Starlight journey. Um, and this is the finishing act. So I didn't really understand. Initially, I didn't understand how to trigger it because like, I didn't watch a tutorial. And then eventually it led to, okay, I understand how finishing act works, but now how do I... Like, what are specific situations that it doesn't happen? Because I noticed like sometimes it doesn't happen. But sometimes it does. I mean, it's probably just because I'm stupid, but you know, I'm just gonna try to explain in as much detail as possible in this short video how the finishing act triggers and what you should look out for. Okay, so as you can see, I'm ready to enter climax with my girls. So uh, let's just do that. This is like the normal situation. I'm gonna show you the normal, normal, normal case. This is how you can trigger a finishing act. So you can start off with. Uh, whoever's okay just notice at the top two of my characters are blinking right so that means that they are ready to climax so there you go they're up there ready to climax and then huh is this gonna work no wait switch all right so at the end of this round what i hope to achieve is uh letting ichi enter her climax as well so let's go Do notice that the flashing white has became has become uh, a block white, a solid white. So that's the that just goes to show that they are entering the finishing this finishing act because there's only one turn left, right? So you you know your climax review lasts for two turns, right? So there'll be a number two at the bottom left, and after a turn has passed, it will be one. And once this turn is done, you will enter finishing act. It's quite straightforward, right? So finishing act only happens if your flashing characters survive on the second round. And they, and they survive through ending that round as well. Okay, so now as you can see, Ichi is flashing. Um, if I choose not to do this, her, they will not be able to trigger the finishing act. I mean, she will not be part of the finishing act team. So let's, let me just show it to you, right, if I choose not to include her. So I'm just not going to do anything to make sure I don't overkill them. Right, there you go, finishing act. Only two characters go. Right. Okay, so I will show you now uh, a weirder case of this situation. Just give me a moment, I'll be back. Alright, so here we are again, fully climaxed. This is a weird case. It's a kind of weird, weird case. I mean, if you remember just like maybe for you just a few seconds ago, but uh, when I chose not to include Ichi, I, sh I chose not to do her, her ultimate. Then you realize that she wasn't part of the team, right? Part of the finishing act team. However, for this case, if I go into climax, and let's say I just use one person to out. Notice everyone at the top. They are flashing, right? And I just use one character to out. Everyone becomes a block color. Everyone. Which is kind of weird. To me, it's kind of weird because, like, in the previous round, um, Ichi was flashing, right? She entered the she entered the review when she was flashing, but I just chose not to use her out. And she wasn't part of the finishing act team. So to prove that everyone here is part of finishing act, let's just go with it. There you go. So that's like kind of weird to me. But I guess in order for me to prove that... I mean in order for me to close this circle, I need to show you that um, if indeed I used her out from the start, I mean, on the okay. <laughs> Let me just rephrase myself before I confuse people. Okay, I need to close this circle by making sure that if I use my out on the second round, the second round of my review of my climax review, she will also be part of the finishing act. So let me just get back into that again. All right. So this is just for completion's sake. Okay, it's just for completion's sake. It's just to prove that. 
everything I said before is true. I'm gonna drop her out, and then the next turn, Michiru will drop her out, and you will see that in the they will enter the finishing, uh, finishing act. Oh, I done messed up. Okay, never mind. It's okay. Um, so right now Ichi is is ready, right? So let's go with Ichi. <laughs> I should have put Michiru first. There you go, you see? It's a block color now. And true enough, we enter the finishing act as well. You, you do realize what mistake I made earlier, right? I should have used um, Michiru to go first so that she would generate the brilliance before throwing in my Yachio. Yeah, so that was a dumb mistake that I made. Okay, so this is pretty much all there is to know about the finishing act. Um. I mean, I, I mean, the skill itself. Okay, that's all you really need to know about the finishing act. A little bit of recap. Um, if your characters enter climax at the same time, they don't have to use their alt. They will still be part of the finishing act. So in case you, you might want to like save your alt for the second turn, you can still do it. Doesn't matter. Or even if you don't feel like using your alt for some reason, they will still be part of your finishing act. However. On the second round of the climax review, if a new character successfully activates their uh, their climax stage, but you choose not to activate their alt, they will not they will not be able to be part of the finishing act. So that's very important for you to know. Um, if my explanation is not very clear, just rewatch the video and you get the idea again. Okay, so moving on to just one last bit about uh, finishing act and probably just like climax in general uh, what I need to do is I need to show you like the review song okay so what is a review song um, it is basically a song that 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 starts when you activate your climax review it's as simple as that everyone knows this right however one thing you should note is that there is a CR here and this doesn't have a CR so what does this mean? CR basically just means Climax Review. So when you activate your Climax Review, um, for 2 turns, everyone gets this critical up buff, plus 15%. But for this case, it's a it's a plain passive, so whenever, you know, you don't even need to be in your review to have this in effect. So as you can see, um, some of these guys, they don't have CR. So those with CR just means Climax Review. Uh, they're generally a lot stronger, like for example, there you go, Climax Review, Normal Defense are plus 100, but normally, Normal Defense are plus 5. Of course, this is probably one of the lower end uh, review effects, but the difference is just extremely big. So, depending on how you want to play, uh, if you're going to play Yachio, like I do, and like most people do, you probably want to stick with uh, something that boosts you during your CR. Like for example, either critical up or if you could, if you can, probably act up. Yeah, like plus ninety. This is quite quite decent. This is about it's about ten percent uh ten percent act power. It's about ten percent in general. Yeah, I mean you, you're probably a lot stronger than me, but for me it's slightly less than ten percent. So because of that, I would generally prefer using crit because crit is an effect that the closer you are to 100 the more multiplicatively better it will be so as much crit as possible that's the best that's 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 for me of course uh, i prefer crits so yeah i think that's all there is about my video today i hope it's been informative i hope you know a little bit more about the finishing act if you did not know anything about a finishing act like me, um, this video would be really helpful for you. I'm pretty sure of it because now that I know this content for myself, I also know how exactly I want to play and I, I need to be more careful of um, my choices that I make in the battle itself. Also do know that the moment you, pr you press that climax button, I've said this before, but the moment you press that climax button, the game will automatically change all your skill selection 
to something that you did not have in that selection before. They will try their best. So for example, if you have one character left and you press a climax button, nothing much will change because they have tried their best but they cannot replace cards that are already there because the cards will still be there. But if you have like three characters left and you press a climax button, you can be guaranteed that you will lose a lot of the important skills that you chose not to use. Um, it's also a good strategy to be able to generate more brilliant strikes and um, maybe buffs and debuffs. Things that, you know, they are not in your original skill lineup, right? That five pan the five panels, they are not originally there. You can just press the climax button and you will flip the cards into probably the skill that you need. So this is a very good, comp uh, a very good strategy that you can employ when you are playing in general content. So do know that it's not always the best choice to immediately get into Climax the moment you can get into Climax. Sometimes it's also important to wait till um, probably you have more than one character entering Climax at the same time. So why this might be important is in case the enemy has evades, like for example this, evades. So what you want to do is have a weaker, a weaker sweeper. Like for me, Ichi is my weaker, weaker character. Yachio is my stronger character. So technically, I mean, typically, what I would want is Ichi to go first, sweep the whole field, clear off all the evades. Cause this evade lasts. It's a perpetual evade, but it clears up the moment the character gets hit. So you want Ichi to sweep everyone, clear up all the evades, and then Yachio takes a turn. So sometimes it's not the best choice to just enter climax and ultimate on your own. Because you also need to make sure that you are able to enter the finishing act as well. Finishing act grants you an extra boost of damage. I'm not so I'm not so sure how they calculate finishing act. It's not specified, but it's quite a lot. It's I have a feeling that it's like the average of act power of all your characters. Something like that. It's not really like it's not really an average, but it's like the more characters that join, the better it gets. However, I'm not sure how they calculate it. Um, so yeah, that being said, that's the end of my video. I hope it's been informative to you. Uh, if it has, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.